Hello everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Sly Thieves in Time. Oh shit, shit, shit. I almost died there. After what you pulled, Sly Cooper. I know. Look, I can explain everything. Well, if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Aw, oh, shucks. Handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know. Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? Later, Actually, where is the van? What were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. Oh, this is just great. Toothpick now has the van. So I guess while the Koopa game was locked up, he decided to go and steal the Koopa van. Just great. When I saw that arrogant little no good lion, oh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that snub look right up his face. I, I... Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angry. That being able to 
able to bust the lowlife skunk? Being trapped here with that lying ringtail. <sighs> the only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. So now we gotta go and uh, get back uh, Moody's van, so we can travel. So we can travel through time, and so we can stop the paradox. So next time on Let's Play. Sly Fees in Time. We're gonna go get. Actually, wait a minute. Before I even end it, I'm gonna go get that one clue. Clue right here, and then I'm gonna end it. Three more to go. So, next time on Let's Play Sly Feet in Time, we're gonna hopefully find the last three clues, open up the safe, get what's inside, and if we have enough time, start the next mission.